Welcome back, guys. It's always a pleasure to have you back with us. And this is section four, and I'm going to go over the overview for you guys. And we're going to discuss all of the topics that's in this section. So again, this section is called Working with Arrays and List. So let's dive right into it. So what will you learn in this section? Well, the first topic that we're going to cover is creating arrays. You're going to develop the skills to create an array and assign a list of values that we can use later, just like a variable. So accessing arrays via indices. So after we create these arrays, we're going to learn how to access them by their indice so we can learn how to look at each value within these arrays so we're going to learn also how to create a list intact with our arrays and creating lists just assigns these different values to our arrays that we create so performing assignment with list. So performing assignment with list is just that we're going to set up specific variables to specific values. So we're going to develop how to use these skills. So converting arrays into strings. Again, we're going to develop these awesome skills and learn how to convert these arrays into strings, usable strings, that we can perform some kind of operations on again. Using the for each loop on arrays and list. So in our previous section, we learned how to use the while loop. But in this section, I'm going to show you how to use the for each loop now with arrays. So understanding scalar and list context. So I'm going to go into details about understanding scalar values and list context as well. So there is a difference between the two, which I'll cover in these lectures in this section. Using the standard in and list context. So again, I'm going to show you guys live examples how to use the standard input operator and perform certain actions with them. And lastly, after we go over all of our lectures, we're going to dive into our conclusion, which is our section outro. And I'm going to give you guys a brief overview of what you've just learned. So I'll see you guys on our next lecture.